Okay. Before we start, we need to download the needed application. We need to install the uh, Audio City software, Format Factory, and Mixcraft Recording Studio. We need to read the audio song. This is our audio song. So what you're saying is it's not enough. Just write it off like a prescription drug. You've been fussing how we never touch. But who can bother with this kind of fussing? When we've been walking this blind, frustrated, outdated. So the first step is to uh, open the audio city. And then uh, drag the audio file to audio suite window. And then click on the right side, uh, left side, click uh, split out stereo track. Then select mono and also the, the below portion click mono so we will hi highlight that then uh, click invert The, the vocal is now uh, slightly removed, not totally removed. So we will adjust the 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 bass and the melody equalization. And then uh, click uh, Trimble Boost. Again, click uh, Effect, then Equalization, then Bass Boost. Okay. Uh, we will uh, preview <laughs> then we will save us export audio to desktop uh, just add the uh, file name instrumental So we have the audio instrumental now. The second step is to uh, convert the audio to MIDI format. So we can done it online. So open your browser. Go to Google. Type MP3 to MIDI. Then uh, select this Beer Audio Online tool. Then uh, select a local file. Go to desktop. Then select the audio with vocal. This is the original audio uh, song. So we will convert it to MIDI format. Then click Start Conversion. So the converting is, pro is uh, processing now. So just wait to finish. So 
So now the conversion is uh, finished. Then down, click download. Then uh, open the folder. Copy this uh, MIDI audio to desktop. So just rename. Only put uh, MIDI. Add MIDI on the file name. So now we have instrumental and we have MIDI uh, format. So we need to convert this MIDI to WAV, WAV file. So we will open the format factory. Then select WAV. Then drag this audio uh, MIDI, MIDI file to this window in the format factory window click ok then click start the conversion because uh, MIDI, MIDI format not uh, recognized in the audio city so if we will edit this uh, we will edit the the MIDI sound so we need to convert to a uh, WAV file Then uh, we will go to Drive C, Format Factory folder, and then uh, copy this one to desktop, and remove this MIDI format. So this is the MIDI format uh, we convert to WAV file. So if we will play this one. just the the equalization we will uh, we will uh, add uh, more uh, bass and uh, melody on that uh, midi midi uh, uh, track we will go to audio city again then drag this one uh, this uh, audio track here Then highlight, go to effect, equalization, bus, boss, click this one. Then uh, again, effect, equalization, trimble, boss. Again, adjust the bus. We'll add more bus. Okay, we will preview. So we will uh, save that to desktop. So we will delete this old uh, audio track. So now we have a uh, audio instrumental. You can hear the the there's a vocal on that song. So on the midi format if you can hear there is no vocal totally uh, uh, the vocal is is uh, removed so now the the last
last step is to uh, we will combine this to audio track so we will use the mix mixcraft uh, recording studio so open the mixcraft recording studio then open the audio tracks uh, first select the select the original uh, song the audio with vocal click this one and then the instrumental and then the third one is the midi uh, midi audio format so now <coughs> we will uh, mute this uh, uh, instrumental and midi midi track just listen the original uh, the original song so what you're saying this is not enough just write it off like a prescription drug you've been fussing how we never touch so the vocal is very clear on the original audio so now we will uh, mute the original audio then play the the instrumental so what you say is not enough just write it off like a prescription so there is uh, you can uh, hear the the vocal on that uh, instrumental so we cannot we cannot uh, see that this is an instrumental this is only a semi instrumental because there is a still a there is still a vocal on that song so we will mute this uh, this uh, original audio and the instrumental we will play the midi the midi for So now we will adjust the equalization. We need uh, to uh, to add more uh, more uh, melody and more bass on the audio track and also in the MIDI track. So we will uh, click this FX. Then on drop down arrow, click uh, vocal wide. Then on this uh, uh, effect, drop down arrow below, click EZQ Equalizer, EZQ Equalizer, then open that one, click edit, click this uh, icon, click edit, now while we play the audio so what you say is this is my time just write it out and take the stories in your time you will find the time in your time okay so in the uh, audio instrumental also click fx then uh, drop down arrow click vocal wide Also, click uh, EZQ Equalizer. Then click in the EZQ Equalizer. Then in the uh, right side, click Edit. Then uh, play the the audio. So
so this is the the final uh, uh, process so let's uh, listen the 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 final output of the uh, instrumental we make <laughs> We will play only the the audio instrumental. See uh, here the difference. If you, if, but if we combine this uh, audio instrumental and the uh, MIDI uh, track, so this is the result. So that all guys, thank you for watching on this video, that's uh, our video tutorial for how to remove the vocal from a song. Uh, just uh, remind remind you guys that uh, this is only a uh, semi-instrumental. So so we can uh, make a professional, uh, good quality audio instrumental by using uh, music instrument like uh, piano or keyboard. So you can use this uh, process for your uh, uh, song cover and also you have a singing embed in your uh, school or party. So you can uh, use this to remove the vocal from a song. But uh, don't use this on your uh, uh, karaoke channel. Uh, you can make a karaoke song by removing the vocal because this is the different. Uh, if you notice that uh, in our uh, karaoke uh, song in uh, in my channel so the, the quality of the audio is very clear because uh, we are using a uh, instrument to create the uh, audio instrumental so this is only a semi semi instrumental just uh, only to uh, give uh, some uh, tutorial on how to to uh, remove the vocal from a song okay that's all guys thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel.